In this lesson, you will learn about adding fractions with unlike denominators. So our denominators are not going to be the same. Okay, so we have this problem 2 thirds plus 1 fourth. I'm going to rewrite it vertically 2 thirds plus, oops, not 3 fourths, 1 fourth. Make sure you write your problem down correctly or you won't get the right answer. 1 fourth. Okay. Now, I cannot add fractions with unlike denominators, so I need to make a common denominator. So I'm going to decide what's a multiple of both 3 and 4. I'm going to use the number 12. I could use 24, and if I use 24, that would be fine. I would just reduce at the end. I'm going to go ahead and use 12. So my denominator is going to become 12. So I'm going to rename both of these fractions into 12ths. So I'm going to multiply by 1. And I'm going to make that 1 be a number that will get 12. So 3 times 4 is 12. So in order for this to be 1, this also has to be 4. 4 over 4 is the 1, multiplying by 1. So 2 times 4 is 8. So I can rename 2 thirds as 8 twelfths. Do the same thing down here. Multiply by this 1. And I'm going to make this one into 3 over 3 because 4 times 3 gives me 12. So whatever I multiply on the bottom, I have to multiply on the top. 1 times 3 is 3. Now I have common denominators. So now I can simply add the numerators together. 8 plus 3 is 11. So we have 8 twelfths and 3 twelfths give us 11 twelfths. Then I have to check, can I reduce my answer at all? Is there a number that will divide both 11 and 12 evenly? No, there's not. So the answer is 11 twelfths. 2 thirds plus 1 fourth equals 11 twelfths, and that's in simplified terms. Let's try, this one did not have any regrouping. Let's try one that needs regrouping. So we have 4 fifths plus 2 thirds. Again, I need a common denominator. So I need to decide on a denominator. I'm gonna go ahead and use 15. 15 is a multiple of both. Okay. So I'm going to multiply both of these fractions by one so that I get a new fraction, but it's the same amount. Well, five times three is 15, so I have to multiply by three on the top. 12, four times three is 12. So four fifths is the same as 12 fifteenths. See, over here I'm going to multiply by 5 on the bottom, so I multiply by 5 on the top, my numerator and denom denominator by the same number, 10 twelfths, 10 fifteenths. So I have 10, 12 fifteenths and 10 fifteenths. If I add those together, 12 and 10 is 22 fifteenths. Well, 22 fifteenths is a, an improper fraction, so I'm going to make this improper fraction into a mixed number by simply dividing. 22 divided by 15, looks like one, subtract, and I have to borrow, that's seven. This remainder becomes my numerator. The denominator is the divisor. So 22 fifteenths, renamed as a mixed number, is one and seven fifteenths. Again, I need to check, can I simplify this? Is there a number that will divide both 7 and 15 evenly? There is not. This is in lowest terms or simplified. So the answer to 4 fifths plus 2 thirds is 1 and 7 fifteenths. And that's the end of our lesson on adding fractions with unlike denominators.